Welcome to Finance and Excel video number 66. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for Chapter 7 or the PowerPoints for Chapter 7, click on the link directly below the video and scroll way down to the bottom of the page to the Finance Excel class section. Hey, here we're going to talk about calculating the implied return based on our dividend growth model. Here's our model, right? Price at times zero. If we know the next dividend, we just divide it by r minus g. Well, we can rearrange this and solve for that g, right? So when we do that, we do that and get this, and then we simply add g to both sides. Ooh, that's not right. That should be a plus right there. And this is a picture, and I can't edit it. Anyway, so you and your notes go broop and make a plus there. This part right here, that'll be our capital gains yield, our percentage that the stock grows. And this, next dividend divided by price, current price, will be our dividend yield. All right, uh, let's look at an example here. This is continuing the XYZ company example. Um, from our data we had before, we had a dividend next uh, next dividend was five bucks. The current price was fifty. So we simply plug those into this model. Broop, broop. We get a ten and a five, ten percent and five percent. So our dividend yield is ten percent, and our capital gains yield is five percent. Now, if you remember from our bond chapter, last chapter we had current yield, and current yield was annual interest payment divided by closing price. Well, wow, that sounds kind of like. Uh, uh, the yield we're talking about here, dividend yield and current yield, that's one we talked about last chapter, are similar because they both show percentage gain from the dividend or interest payment, not the capital gain, just those two things compared to price, whatever the current price is. All right, let's go over to Excel. This is our same example we've been working on. We're going to use the same numbers here. Let's just say we see the price is 50 bucks. We know it's 50 bucks. And uh, we've estimated the constant growth rate is 5. We can easily then calculate our dividend yield. Our dividend, whatever the next dividend is, divided by our current price. And you know, this just makes pure common sense, right? Um, this is the, the base right here. And this is the cash we're getting it from this. Like any interest calculation or whatever, here we call it a dividend, we just compare it to how much we you know, put in, how much we invested. When you buy a stock, you're investing. So you compare those two things, and boom, that is the return for that one dividend payment, dividend yield. And then the capital gains is going to be our G. So those two things together will make up our R, so we can add them. So this is not too hard to find out there in the market. Neither is this. Those are easy. Uh, bits of information to get. Um, this may be a little bit harder, but once you have it, you can figure out the implied return or implied discount rate. All right, uh, next video we will talk about uh, a adaptation of this model when we have uh, different growth rates. All right, we'll see you next video.